Quick story. A girl and a guy met and fall for each other. They both love music, so decide to work together. And they were pretty good at it. Now on the surface, everything looked perfect. But oh, the stress of the city. So they decided otherwise. They packed up and left for the countryside. And that's where we meet this family, raising their children, growing their own food and their business together on a quest to find a new normal and a new sense of happiness. And if you're looking for the same thing, then join us and we can unpack this thing called life together. Where are my manners? Let me introduce myself. I'm Shamel Owago, my husband's Amondi Owago, and together we are Nilochi. And this is Z Quest. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Z Quest Exclusives or Extras. Someone was like, is it extras or exclusive? What's the EX for? And I was like, I don't know, uh, whatever one you want. Always stand for exclusive. Exclusives. Always. It's if you're a <laughs> Patreon member, then you get the full hour of this. Yeah. And when you join you know, Patreon for tuppence, really. Yeah. Tuppence for it's what you get in. Inexpensive. And um, it supports the channel, it supports us, and it supports what we are trying to create. So, welcome back if you're back again, and if not, and you're here for the first time, then we are happy to have you. Talk to me. Well, I was hoping you'll talk to me. Well, I did have a couple things to talk about. I just wanted to to try and like act like I was, you know. Do you know what's funny today? The kids asked me that if you had a superpower, what would it be? Well, mind you, it's like a, a thing they're watching at the moment. And basically they, they said, yeah, well, if it was basically in your DNA, because they have those ninja ninjas and basically by families, they've got the particularity and the particular superpower. And they asked me, so what would it be that? Yeah. Uh, what, what did you say? Because I hope it didn't involve flying. No. I said, oh, for, I'll freeze the time. And that will be much faster. And they spent like about something like 45 minutes trying to find another power that can, you know, overpower my power. I and say, they couldn't find one. Yeah, I said, Shashpa, it's yeah. the best power. It's the best. I'll freeze Your the doctor time. strange out here. And they say, yeah, but exactly. And then they say that, yeah, but that, if everybody, like, if you freeze everybody, so by the time you unfreeze them, they'll be old. I said, no, they won't be because... Oh, for I'm them the you. time hasn't yeah but they say what about you dad I said no that's all point of that power you'd be quicksilver I'll here. stay young yeah but I said to them look it's not even like quicksilver because quicksilver is fast it's running fast but it doesn't freeze the time it's True. just it feels like the time True. is frozen that's what I said to them and uh, we have a bit of a debate about what this. did they want you to do um they didn't want me to do anything they just didn't expect this because they had this um yeah, um, I think it's about Naruto or whatever they were talking about. What, what power did they want you to have? Um, no, they didn't want me to have any power. They wanted to know what was, what I was thinking. What did they expect you to say? I don't know because they were talking to me about like also power with the hand and that like you do like a sign and and Who's somehow got time for that? and somehow that gives you like you know whatever it can be like a ball of energy or whatever it is and basically they were saying to me like look that what would it be so the worst time to pick your superpowers is when you're a kid yeah you're definitely going to regret your choices of course <laughs> I would regret every day man I would have because I probably life, would I have say, done why did I pick this one I would have done invisibility yeah. and then I would have been like no <laughs> no no one noticed me. <laughs> Nobody knows my name, and it would have been like nobody sees me. <laughs> I feel like, like I'm always being looked through. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the truth, though. So I kind of just like, mm, yeah. It's like I think a, I'll wait until I'm older and I can delegate these yeah, yeah, proper powers. That, that has to be like a mature choice. Don't want to fly. Be, yeah, yeah. Nope. Not interested. Yeah. See, you know what? As much as flying appear as like being one of those superpower, because obviously you can, um, you know, like it's, it's like it's, it's out of the ordinary. That's like that's what it looks like, but it's not as practical as we think it is. I think my one would be something to do with growing plants. 
Yeah. And I know that sounds like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's your nature. Yeah, why not? Basically. <laughs> um, no, uh, and I mean like forever? proper, like yeah, like I'll but grow vines. Go, go, well, from you or like like in nature, like what would it be like? Like no, from yeah. nature, like if I want a tree to grow, like it's it's there. If I want uh, apples on right, the tree, so anything, it's there. So, so you know what? That's not a bad idea. It works no. for me. I'm vegetarian. It works. Yeah. It works. Yeah, like, I'll yourself. never go we, to we the about, supermarket yeah, again. But when we talk about superpower, we're talking about like... Hang on in, a minute. In, so you're in, not in, validating my superpower? No, Hang on a bit. I, I validate it. Okay, actually. so you think, where am I doing in a fight? Because that's really where you're going Yeah, that's, that's the, exactly what people okay. are talking about. But I, 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 I know much, what you can do. I know what you can do. How it's, much weeds have we got in the garden? Oh, we've got so many. Exactly. Imagine, okay, somebody comes to fight you, okay? Here we are, mm-hmm. and I just summoned some bindweed. I just <laughs> <laughs> and some crabgrass, and it just. <laughs> what noise would you make though? What would be your your trait 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 sound like? What what would it be like? I'd be like ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Is that no, what, is no, that no. I just thought I'd pick the most like yeah. the most okay. corny <laughs> stuff to say. <laughs> okay, why not? Hey, you know what? We can go for that. That's it. You know, that would you, be you, it. You would have definitely been great. A couple of stuff. Excuse me, I made that up as a grown up. Excuse me. Sounds like I'm saying that. You know. <laughs> yeah, basically. No, but trees be falling on yeah. people. Oops. Yeah, okay. Sure. Um, what are you gonna say? This yeah, woman, you know what, this woman pushed that, the tree um, down on me. You know what? Lord of the Ring. That's what I've got to say. Ivy. Do you remember one like them big trees starting? I'd be. You know, do you see walking yeah. trees? That would be yeah. me all day, every day. Those trees. Is it? Is it, is it Lord of the Rings? Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And um. Yeah, that's cool. Um. Um. Yeah. Yeah. This. This is powerful. Yeah, having I mean, all you know, like an army of sequoias, we you know what's rooting for you, <laughs> throwing trees, you know, like all big trees. Yeah. Over, you know, you see like all huge you trees. You will see trees shooting down what? the road. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. that's that's that, that that's a good power. No, it is good. Anything you. with nature is, is is pretty dope. I would make grass grow and. Well, I I love to freeze the time on you, man. <laughs> Freeze the time. That's it. That's my sound. Oh, you've already, th- you've already yeah, thought of a song. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you asked me about. No, my sound. Kid, kid Can I read you my me. sound then? Go on. Pew, pew. No, don't get, don't get, don't get, don't That's it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I only want one no, take. No. Okay. Go. I'm gonna have to think about it. You know we're recording right now, right? Yes, I know. So I'll be like. What you don't forever. want me to shoot this with the public? <laughs> no, 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 you can, you can go. On. This is who I am, okay? I mean, what what we're supposed to do? Wait until we're actually popular, and then well, you're this, sing, you're this singer. side of you're, me comes out at some sort of press conference, you're, you're, and they're you're, like, "You're a singer, oh, no. so you should be like." I've been know, triple like plastic. A, like a, a, yeah, but you you got a good voice, so you can, I'm sure you can make a good oh, sound. Oh, thank you. But um, no, I will make a good sound, but it won't be anything like. You know, okay. I like hum or something, or whistle. I'll whistle. It was, oh, yeah. I'll I whistle. Guess that could, that could work. I'm a good whistler. Okay. I, I will whistle. All right. So yeah, that'll be yeah. it. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, this is what they were asking me like this week. You know, they got, that's what. So, that's how you know they got number it, time it, on their it, hands it, it, in the middle of cooking. What? Yeah. That was it. Dad, dad, dad. It's random. I know right? you're busy, <laughs> but. What superhero? Okay, that's yeah. that's uh, that's uh, what I, I love that, about yeah. kids. Yeah, that is what's pressing to them. Oh yeah, there's the most important things. It's like when Grace walked in on my birthday, which I can say yeah. was a whole load of what can I say? A steaming pile of dog doo doo. Yeah, I think it was as far as their contribution concerned. It was well, low. Kid will be kid. It was like her walking in with the Lego. I swear to you, I was about to take that Lego. And you know when you just say, oh, let me see. And then they think, (laughs) and then you just smash the Lego. Sorry. That's what I was going to do. And I said, don't be petty. (laughs) You're the birthday girl, not the petty girl. Didn't mean to. No, I was just going to say, 
Sai. As in, I was going to give the I'm sorry, but not sorry, sorry. Sai. Sai. And that was going to be it. Mm-hmm. I was going to give them all vocal fry and that was going to be and she would know that I wasn't sorry and I said you know what the mere fact that you thought this through you need to leave now as soon as she walked in with the Lego I walked out because uh, you know but she, she knew immediately she just she had to read the room she read your face yeah immediately ugh but so, no so, talking about kids so gone so um what do you want to talk about? Um, the parallels of, 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 of what? Having kids, mm-hmm. and versus not having kids in this in this in these COVID streets. Yeah. How has things changed for us, and how has things changed for you? As a, how are you as a father? Um. Never think about this. How do you feel as a father? I mean, I know how I feel as a mum, and you know, because I was I was reading. Um, I think it was in the Washington Post. Yeah, it was in the Washington Post. They had this article about how mothers are finding it so hard to adapt to, you know, um, to to a- just the life of COVID. So you know, I was like, okay, you know finding it hard to adapt but they were like no like so 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 what you're asking me it's it's how like how do i how do i deal with like this new setting of uh, they ask mums but they don't really ask dads and uh, considering i've got a whole dad here figure that out how are you adapting to the new um, thing and it's not just the regulations it's everything that comes with it it's the okay 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 the work around let's be um, contextual about this yeah because yeah. they're talking about work as well the pressures of work because look um, we uh, like I'm not the type of dad that's gone all day to work and what I mean gone all day to work it doesn't mean that I don't work I just work from home and and and, and uh, so these come with privilege many privileges which is dropping your kids to school and be probably more present in your kid's life. You know, it's, it's a privilege because not everyone can do that. Yeah. Sometimes you have other obligations or you work far away from home or, you know, you have to wake up early in the morning even to get to work, even if you don't start early. Yeah. So when it comes down to dropping your, 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 your kid to school and that, it's not going to happen. And people have been having this type of... Uh, of um, well, of, 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 of working life. And mm. it was expected of fathers to be uh, that way inclined anyway. Um, my situation was already a bit different. So the the, 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 the difference between, uh, co- I mean, COVID, uh, pre-COVID and post-COVID or COVID now wasn't that enormous for me personally because um, I was kind of, um, doing already a lot of things that are similar that what I'm doing now. Well, so so I didn't. It wasn't too hard it, to it's do been, the transition. No, it's been a bit of a change because more in the probably more for the children, the perceptions of the situation. So whereas <laughs> maybe they'll see their friends and maybe or I drop them or you drop them to the friend's party or they they, they, they can go to you were the to, taxi to, to, you were the to, designated yeah, driver yeah but sometimes you used to do it as well but I'm just saying <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that I'm just saying that you know whatever situation they had before kind of stopped because of COVID so it wasn't uh, uh, that practical and that easy to, to do so for, for them me, it was the yeah, adaptation was more for them rather than rather, for you rather, rather, rather than for me now the only thing I can say is because where we are now and also certain our uh, family situation makes it that we don't have a huge uh, support when it comes that to down to babysitting. There's no really uh, someone to babysit the kids for us like that on the you know on the the There's basis. Nobody. So that situation is be hard when you uh, get children that don't really understand you know what's going on with COVID. They know there's COVID, but what it will mean for them. Do you to think not we shield them to. too much? Um, I, I wouldn't say we do. Um, depends how. 
How do you, how, do you, how do you mean it? Like, do you- Thank you for listening. Now for full exclusive episodes, go on to nilochi.com and join our Patreon.